Welcome to Investors Insights, where today's topic is higher inflation versus higher productivity. A lot to cover this week. Ty is going to talk about the inverted yield curve, which has historically led to previous recessions. I'm going to talk about a record productivity. But first, Trey, the Fed meets this week. Inflation has been coming in higher. Talk about that meeting. Yeah, thanks so much, Bobby. So as everyone that's been watching our vlogs for years know that you know we're really focused on the Fed because that's what the market is focused on. The Fed has historically moved markets. Uh, these charts behind me move violently when, whenever Jerome Powell speaks as the algorithms start to price in every word. Uh, and so this week it will be no different. We expect the Fed to keep rates unchanged, Fed funds rate at 5.5%. Uh, that is in line with recent expectations, but out of line of where we started the year. The year we began expecting six rate cuts. But as you mentioned, inflation has come in the last two months higher than expected. Both CPI and PPI surprised the upside last week. So those expectations have come down drastically in terms of the number of rate cuts. You can see on this chart, uh, the top line is uh, is current expectations where, where interest rates are going to be. You can see that's a good bit higher than where the bottom line is, which is where the market expected to start the year. And the market expected roughly six rate cuts uh, over the next 12 months. That's come down by more than two, down to below four rate cuts. So just over th somewhere between three, three and four rate cuts. We expect those numbers to continue the fall. Uh, we're not expecting inflation to spike back up to 9%, but this, uh, this victory lap that people are anticipating back in November seems to be stalled. And that's where we think, we think we may be dealing with inflation interest rates higher for longer. Uh, is, is just where we're going to be for now. Yeah. And so with stubborn inflation causing weakness in the market last week, we're looking at corporate earnings strength as a key driver for the next few weeks. And one positive development that corporations are seeing is increased productivity from workers. In fact, as you can see in this chart, going all the way back to the 1970s, the average revenue per worker for companies making up the S&P 500 hit an all-time high last month. And this chart shows that productivity took a big dip in 2022. So to see it bounce back like it has in recent quarters, hitting an all-time high bodes really well for American corporations. And this is great news. As wage growth has remained high, so has productivity. And it really comes down to margins. It's a margins game. So as productivity goes higher, corporations can lower costs, which leads to better profit margins. So we do think that record productivity can help drive the market forward in the coming weeks and months, even if inflation continues to come in higher, some of the trade just talked about. Uh, and so, Ty, talk about the inverted yield curve. We watched this because historically it has led to previous recessions. Talk about that. Yeah, so you brought up the 70s. Uh, another common theme here with the 70s is uh, an inverted yield curve. So the, the two-year yield of a Treasury bond is, is more than what you can get on a 10-year yield. We've been this way for now a little bit over 421. As of this chart, as you see, 421 consecutive days. That was a new record. Previous record was 420 set in the late 70s. Uh, the 70s were kind of similar time frame where they were marred by you know high inflation, um, the stock market was was kind of even keel, kind of flat for for kind of that decade there. Um, and you know, even though our stock market here in the last year and a half has done a little bit better than than flat, obviously, um, you know, we do see those those kind of inflation concerns that would uh, mimic the 1970s. And as you mentioned, this typically leads to uh, this inverted yield curve is typically a sign of a recession. Uh, the only time that the the two and ten were inverted and it didn't lead to a recession was in 1998. So. Um, and, and to be fair, that that inversion only lasted a few days. It lasts 420 days. So we're not out of the woods yet. Um, and it's something that we're going to continue to keep an eye on as we look to you know become uh, uninverted. Yeah. So look, we continue to analyze uh, our concerns around the you know, inverted yield curve, our concerns around higher inflation and what the Fed's going to do this week. But we're also looking at the positives, and that is record productivity. So there's a lot to analyze here. If you have any questions about anything we've discussed, as always, please call us, email us. Thanks for watching.